We have many people to thank for making today possible. June 16th at 9.16 a.m., the unexpected happened here at Linwood High School. At a time where normally our students would be on campus looking for shade on a hot summer day, the unexpected happened. I was on campus when it happened. I really was in disbelief. In the midst of the pandemic, we got the phone call that there was a collapse of some structure at Linwood High School. At that moment, I was happy that there was school closure. I would have been right under the collapse had we still been on campus. I would have been greatly injured and maybe even worse. All we knew back on June 16th, 2020, is eight tons of concrete fell and we didn't know why but now we know why. The one positive thing about COVID was that none of our students were here, none of our educators were hurt. Gracias a Dios for that. The framing members were anchored with shot pins. Bolts that were small called shot pins that have the ability to hold up drywall, not eight tons of concrete. There's an inspector whose job is to inspect that what was built is what's on the plants. The plaster was, was intact, that the, the studs were intact, but the connection between the stud and the structure above is the one that failed. The legislative process is very complicated. We had to do our due diligence to make sure that we covered every single aspect that, that needed to be covered, that we dotted every I, that we crossed every T, that we looked at any legal avenues. We also talked to our state senator, Linia Gonzalez. We spoke to the speaker, Anthony Rendon. They got involved very early. They needed a support letter and they needed other legislators to get on board. I started meeting with the legislators and started meeting with our Senator Gonzalez and our Speaker's office and the finance team. Superintendent Tony Thurman told staff, this is when we dream big. We went to Sacramento. We saw 12 different members of Congress. The typical way of going to Sacramento, securing funds, is, is always, uh, it's always circuitous. To an extent, can be a long process. A bill can get killed in so many different ways. And to see a school structure collapse and to see students have to be displaced and in some instances finish their high school careers elsewhere is really something that we had to address as both as elected officials but more importantly as, as folks who live in this community. And as a superintendent it was an awful feeling not to be able to tell them with confidence that we're going to be back at Linwood High School. July 2022 it's a completely different situation. There were so many different layers to this and for each and every one to believe in Linwood helps us to believe in ourselves. It helps our students to believe in themselves. Today, we're excited to announce that after months of working with leaders who join us in advocating for support, we are being allocated, are you ready? 250 million in state funding. That's a quarter billion dollars. That's hope for the Linwood community, hope for generations of students to come. We are overjoyed and grateful for this day. Let us start with why we're here. When you're put in a, in a crisis, it really shows who you are. Making do with what we got was our necessity to move forward. I think back to 2010 and the challenges that we were going through as a district with student outcomes, graduation rates. And back then, the Linwood community came together. The Linwood community has once again persevered and has come together to make wonderful things happen. Together with President Morales and the, and the school board and the city council, it was everyone all hands on deck. A great team with great people that care about kids, that care about Linwood, Linwood High School and the community as a whole. I think about like a 
hardworking people, the first people that come to mind are people from Linwood, are my parents. I saw them work together like no other. And that to me was everything. I think people in Linwood are so deserving. They've worked so hard for the opportunities that they've had. When we feel like everything is stacked against us and when we can't see the light anymore and when we feel like we're drowning and we can't reach the surface and it's just more water being thrown at us and then all of a sudden you find the strength within you to not stop fighting. It's, it's such a huge win for the Linwood community and I'm just, uh, I'm just so extremely grateful to our leaders who um, champion for kids and believe in kids. And, and um, I just can't ex express my gratitude enough. And so I know for us, it's gonna be um, just a reminder for our kids that you know what? We believe in you. We have hope in you. I think when you do something with good intention for the right reasons, it just always works out. I, I truly believe that. For us to be able to have received this feels like impossible's not that impossible anymore. Us getting support from our state is an affirmation that our state cares about us and that we also matter and our education matters. Our kids and our families deserve it. And someone did them wrong and communities like Linwood deserve justice. I'm looking forward to when we have an amazing school that is deserving of this community. It's one thing to talk to legislators about what happened and then hope that they figure it out. It's another thing to take them on a tour and then to craft a video that really gives you the gravity of the moment. The video was so instrumental in ensuring that uh, the legislators really understood why Linwood really needed to be invested in. There was actual footage of partial collapses of the uh, roofing or the soffit as they were working on certain sections, other parts just started to fall. In a state of 40 million people in a vast geography, those types of efforts help to uh, help to break down on the sense of abstraction, the abstraction that exists between a community that's 300 miles away from the state capital. By the time the school would be uh, finished with construction, my little sister would be a freshman and she'll be the first class to experience the new remodeled high school. Today is an awesome day for Linwood <laughs> and I'm glad to be a part of it. It's really great. We can declare that the castle will be rebuilt. The flags will fly again over Linwood High on the Imperial side.